Hey YouTube, John here, Homeland Survivor. So I said I was going to do a review for you guys on the Oakley Extractor Sling Pack, which I have right here. Pretty cool looking pack, right? I've been carrying this guy here for about probably two to three weeks now. Um, so I got a pretty good feel for it and uh, I'm gonna share it with you guys. So hang around and we'll check it out. And the video is not going to be so much about the contents, although I did add some things and I got rid of some things, um, which you might pick up on. But it's just going to really be about the way the bag set up, um, like the bag itself, and what I think about it. So let's get into it. All right, so I got the bag in black. They do offer two other colors, which are like an OD green and also a multi cam which looks awesome. Um, I'm not sure if they have any other colors. I don't believe so. I believe those are the only two. But I went with the black because I wanted something that, you know, didn't scream tactical. Uh, and the design on here does not. You have a little bit of molly, but that's it. I mean, it's a real modern looking bag. Real nice. Um, really just looks like a backpack. So, anyway, up top here they give you some nice loop for um, any of your morale patches, name tags, anything like that. Real nice big area. I mean, that's about the size of my hand. So, you can throw a lot of patches on there. Of course, your Oakley symbol. Um, now, the sides are symmetrical. They're exactly the same. But they offer two rows of molly and a mesh water bottle pocket. Um, they're pretty tight, so it's really hard to get anything in there other than like a 16 ounce water bottle. But <clears throat> they do Velcro close so that they stay nice and tight to the bag and they don't get stretched out, which is nice. Like I said, it's symmetrical, same, two rows of molly, mesh pocket. And this is where all your molly is right here, it's right on the bottom. That way you can clip any of your stuff to it. But not a real tactical looking bag. Okay, now flip it around. Take a look at the sling here. It is a sling pack, obviously, one strap. If you look, you got a nice wide stitching here. It goes all the way across. So that isn't going anywhere. I wouldn't think so anyway. The strap itself is extremely comfortable. I wear this out for like day hikes, stuff like that, and I actually forget it's on. Very, very nice, very soft. Um, but on the strap here, you do have a row of just regular molly and D-ring. Then you also have this laser cut molly, which is kind of cool, like a modern style kind of deal. Um, and of course, you know, a little loop there too. But it is quick detach, in case you get snagged on anything, you can pop it right off. And, <clears throat> ambidextrous. It has these crab claws. Look like that. That's what attaches to a D-ring, so you can move it from there to there. Um, what is nice about this bag is Oakley gives you this. And what this is, it's like a like a chest strap almost. This clips onto the D-ring, and there's another buckle on here, which right in there. And that kind of goes around your waist. Gives you a little bit more uh, stability. Keeps the bag from bouncing around, swinging. So uh, that's a pretty cool feature if you're out riding a bike, um, running, anything like that. Keeps the bag in place. Good idea. Now the back also adds to the comfort. That's a nice padding on it. Very soft. Um, and it has these air channels that allow air to, well, flow through so your back doesn't get all sweaty if you are doing anything, if it's hot out. So, another nice feature. Very comfortable bag to wear. Uh, now, oh, here. It does have a hanging strap, right here, and also a grab handle. Now, the grab handle, I think they could have done a little bit better on. Um, as you can see, it's really just like a thin, like, webbing. Um, but they did box stitch it, so I'm not thinking it's gonna go anywhere. It should hold up pretty good. The zippers on here, now there's only two zippers, um, it's just one big, one big flap on the front, 
but they are YKK. I just checked them. And uh, also, these little uh, zipper pulls, they're really nice. Uh, they're open all the time with this little plastic or rubber piece they have here. So, real nice. Finger slips right in, across. Can't beat it. So, that is the outside of the bag. You'll see here in this clip that myself and the bag are extremely muddy. Um, and that's just because I took quite a spill while we were out hiking around. I fell down a hill uh, directly onto the bag. So this thing's tough. It held up really nice. Um, I did throw the pack right in the washer and it came clean. Looks just like when I pulled it out of the package the day I got it. Alright guys, so I'm going to try to make it short and sweet. Um, it's pretty simple on the inside. What I like about this bag is it's a total clamshell. Um, once you open it up, everything is laid out in front of you. You can see it all. So let's dig into it here. All you have to do is grab this grab handle and just pull back. And your whole bag just flattens out just like that. Awesome. So what Oakley does is Oakley gives you this nice little pack. It comes with it. And um, the back of here is the hook side of the Velcro, or the loop side, I mean, and this is the hook. So if you have like a holster with some Velcro on the back end of it, you can actually put your gun right on there. But I thought it was a pretty nice little uh, little thing they, they threw this in there for you. But um, the pack here actually has two little pockets, mesh. They don't Velcro close, so um, it kind of, if you stick something in there, it wants to fall out. I just keep some Kleenexes. But I have my first aid stuff in here. There's like no organizers in there, but that's fine because I just keep, you know, some trauma and first aid stuff. Set that aside. Um, there is a flap right here. And if you open that up, you can feel the padding on the other side, the back side of the bag. And there's also padding uh, behind this GoPro. You can, uh, it's a tablet pocket. It'll fit a 10 inch tablet. I wouldn't go any bigger than that, but yeah, 10 inch tablet. Now, you have these two side flaps, zipper, mesh. Um, this is where I'd probably keep my heavier items, um, like medium weight, probably. You got a nice, you got like two hands worth of room in there. Both sides are the same. Um, now this bottom pocket here on the flap, this is where I keep all my heavy items at. Um, just because it's, it just sits better down in there. Uh, it's not real big, it's a smaller pocket, about a one hand, one hand length there. You have another mesh pocket right here. Um, pretty big. Uh, I try to keep like my light stuff in there because it kind of wants to make the bag sink in. If it's too heavy. Like, if you have like your Leatherman in there and like your spare mag, it kind of just wants to sink down. So, uh, right here at the top is your sunglass pocket, felt line. I don't keep my sunglasses in there, I just have some quick grab stuff. But, uh, that's it for the inside of the bag, guys. Pretty simple. I like it that way. Um, it doesn't offer any, like, organization when it comes to, like, you know, designated spots for pens and notepads and stuff like that. They're just open pockets. Um, and everything's kind of thrown in there, but it, you know, you can really, you can organize it by pocket, which is pretty nice. Um, I just use it as my EDC bag, and uh, so far it's been doing a, a good job for me. So, yeah. All right, so here it is on me. It stays real nice and close to your body. Um, if you're somewhere crowded, you don't have to worry about bumping into people. It, it stays pretty close to your back. And this is what I was talking about with that strap, this way it stabilizes a little bit more and ain't gonna jump off your body. So that's real nice. But yeah, check it out. Nice looking bag, doesn't look real tactical. Just a good everyday bag to have. Staying under the radar. So that's my new EDC bag guys, the Oakley Extractor Sling Pack. Um, I really like it, I have no complaints with it. I think it's a great little pack. Um, for the money, you can't beat it. 
Um, Oakley makes good quality stuff. What I really like about the bag is just how comfortable it is. I mean, to carry it around all day and just totally forget it's on your back, it's awesome. It's like it's part of you. Um, also, that the bag has a big void of space in the center for you to store bigger items. Um, sometimes I carry around a raincoat with me and it will compress to like a small sack about like that big. Fits in there real nice. So, I mean, the, the bag offers a lot of uh, different things. Uh, good organization. So, I'm going to give it a run for a couple more weeks and uh, see how I like it. But so far, it's holding up good. It's getting put through the test. So, um, if you guys have any more questions on the bag, anything I didn't cover, um, most definitely, please comment below. Let me know, and I'll get right back to you guys. But, uh, yeah, I hope you... <clears throat> I hope you guys found this uh, this video helpful, and please subscribe. I'm going to have a whole lot more videos out there. So, yeah, we're going to go over a whole bunch of stuff. Don't forget, subscribe.